Hey guys, Sausage here, and welcome to the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. This actually is my most favourite Elder Scrolls game out of all of the ones I have played, which is only this and Skyrim. Now, yes, people probably will argue that Skyrim is a good game, and while I do agree with that, I don't know, I just prefer Oblivion. Uh, there's just a lot that they took out of Oblivion that... Well, sorry, there's a lot that they took out of Skyrim that uh, I feel should have been left in from Oblivion. It, I, I don't know how to word that. I don't know if I've worded that right. Pretty much what I'm getting at, there's stuff in this game that I feel should have gone over into Skyrim, but it didn't. And I have seen like some playthroughs of Morrowind, which was before this, and there's some things from Morrowind which should have came into Oblivion but didn't. So every time they make a new Elder Scrolls game, they seem to dramatically change quite a few things. And while Skyrim was great, I just wasn't feeling it. Right, so, character creation screen. Uh, this is not the vanilla start. This is a modded start called Alternate Starts from the Nexus, um, Elder Scrolls Nexus online, on the interwebs. I'm really not using words properly today. They're failing me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to play as an orc. Uh, I never usually do orc characters on this, just because they do look incredibly ugly and... Yeah, they're just brutes. However, I'm going to do some form of um, different orc this time around. I'm going to an RP uh, a orc that is a spellcaster. Because orcs are known for being brutes that wield heavy weapons and smash people's faces in. However, I want to have sort of a, a spellcasting orc. Those of you that have played World of Warcraft will know exactly what I'm about to say and who exactly I'm about to mean, probably. I'm going for sort of a Gul'dan type thing, and those who don't know who Gul'dan is, he's pretty much a warlock that can summon, um, like, hordes of undead things and demons to help kick, kick ass and whatnot. Right, that will do, I guess. Uh, name, well, shall I actually call him Gul... Damn. There we go. So character creation screen done. And while they do they do look a bit weird. Again, the unofficial Oblivion patch is a, a mod. This has got some mods installed, not loads, but a few. Uh, that's Orrery. There was a uh, DLC. So yeah, um, like with uh, Skyrim, graphically this isn't too bad. It hasn't really aged all that much considering and you can get graphical mods for it I mean it's I have seen worse looking games put it that way anyway this is what this mod is you're pretty much on a boat and you just go to the immigration forms and select all your stuff here so race I've already done birth sign uh, for those of you who've only ever played Skyrim this is what you had before you um, uh, had to go to those waystones if you remember you went to waystones you picked one you got uh, an effect and you can switch between them, that's Oblivion's version of birth signs. So you should recognise most of these. And considering I'm going for the mage, um, a character, I'll pick a mage, which gives me 50 points of magicka as a bonus from the start, which is going to give my uh, warlock a head start. However, I could go for the Atronach, which would uh, increase, uh, which would stop me from regaining magic, so I cannot regenerate magic until I wear my um, armor that lets me do it. But every spell that hits me will re will regain my magic. A hundred, uh, uh, sorry, fifty percent of the spell damage will be absorbed into magicka, so it will regenerate my magic. Fifty percent of spell damage will be, and my base magicka is increased by one hundred and fifty points. So it is worth getting, but you do have to pay the price if you don't regenerate mana. Uh, I don't know of any tricks that uh, can really regenerate it over time other than armor that's enchanted, so... Actually, screw it. Yeah, we'll go for the Atronaut. That should be cool. Uh, specializations. This is where you'd pick your major skills and minor skills. Uh, I can't really remember what you did here for... I think you had to pick a few. But I go for a custom one, we want to focus on magic, which is uh, alchemy, alteration, conjuration, destruction, illusion, mysticism, and restoration. Now, this one here, mysticism, that pretty much uh, got bumped into alteration for Skyrim, so yeah, that's a new thing. 
Uh, what do we want? Destruction alteration. Oh, alchemy conjuration. Uh, I want conjuration and mysticism. And we're going to have to have some kind of physical attacks. So I, I have already pre-done this, so I already know roughly the ones I'm going for. I would like to have... Blade and Blunt, so I can use any weapon. Conjuration and Destruction, so I can conjure things and shoot at them and kick the butts. I'll go for Light Armor. Should I go Light or Heavy? Actually, considering I know what... I played this to death, so yeah. Uh, considering I know what's coming up, I think... Because after the Glass Armor... Uh, if you've got the DLC Shivering Isles, you can get something called Amber Armor. It looks pretty good, but I don't think it's really going to suit this guy. So Heavy Armor might be an idea instead, because you can get Madness Armor, which probably suits you better. Illusion's another one I wanted. Uh, so what you need seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Which other one? Acrobatic Alchemy, Alteration. Uh, shields me, lets me walk on water. We'll go for Alteration. Okay. And I'm simply just going to call this class a Warlock. There you go. Warlock. Done. Done. Yes, I am a Warlock. Now, this bit is an added bit to the mod, the social status. If you're playing vanilla Oblivion, you won't get this. But this is why I like it. You can pick kind of the story that your background is supposed to be. Now, I have absolutely no idea which one of these a evil Warlock would be. So, let's see, manual labour, uh, I suppose it could be manual labour, that will do. Uh, I have a, do I have any crimes? I have never committed a crime, I have never been arrested, you write down a long list of convictions. We'll go for that. Uh, what job do you hold? I'm a farmer, a miner, a hunter, or a piecework? I don't know what that is. Uh... I really don't know. Miner? Uh, I'm very wealthy. Yes, very wealthy. And you can start in the Imperial City, which for Oblivion is the main city, or Arnville, which is a side city. I'll pick Imperial just because I know where I am. For some reason, it lets you start with diseases. I wouldn't know why. However, this one is what you contract if you're going to become a vampire, and this one makes you a vampire when you start. So porphyric hemophilia is what you get instead of the sanguinaire whatever it is for, from Skyrim. So I don't want any of those. I do not want to be a vampire at the moment. That's me, Mr. Gul'dan. Uh, you get a load of stuff soon. So yeah, cool. Right, off we go. Just sleep in the bed and it will start you up. It really does skip most of the intro and if you've played Oblivion to death, and you, like me, you really cannot stand the uh, beginning because it's just a tutorial that takes God knows how long. It's a real ball ache. Just get that mod. It's uh, alternate start arrived by ship or something. It's easy to find. Anyway, because obviously we're doing a modded start, you won't get the normal quest to get this thing here called the Amulet of Kings. So I need to make that my active quest. Uh, this dream did not bode well. Perhaps I should examine the sewers to see whether there is any truth to it. First though, I should retrieve my belongings from the nearby sack. Okay, belongings, nearby sack. I don't get much, considering I'm only at work. I've got 46 gold. Wow, I really did pick the wrong start there. Okay. I've discovered a notice from someone. That's horse armor. Okay, DLC. You'll get a lot of these. Uh, Merion's Razor, DLC. Deep Scorn Hollow, DLC. Yeah, I got the Game of the Year edition. Uh, Dunborough Cave, DLC. Frostcrag Spire. I will go to that because I'll use that as my house. Uh, Battlehorn Castle, another DLC, I think. I don't remember downloading it. Uh, CM Partners is a add-on. Not an add-on, a... Yeah, you know what I mean. Got the dagger. Little dagger, there's me. Right, so I only have a dagger at the moment, and I have Traveler's stuff, which is literally zero on all armor. Because this one here is, uh, any numbers on this side would mean this armor. This is how much they weigh, and this is how much they're worth. 
for those who aren't used to this. So pretty much that does one, that's uh, one damage dagger, so it's pretty useless. Bloodstain, no, let's go to the frost, frost crag. This is the deeds, so I can get frost crag. Uh, there, I will change frost crag, by the way. I am aware that there is a mod for that. Good frost crag reborn. Anyway, after that massive, massive pain in the ass ball ache type of intro, I'm actually going to explain to you what the hell I'm doing playing Oblivion for the channel. Pretty much, uh, there's a lot of mods out there for Oblivion, and there is an absolutely awesome guy who I watch uh, do Oblivion mod reviews called Team UDF. Feel free to go check him out. Um, however, quite a few mods do require to. How goes it? Shut up. Quite a few mods do require you to actually have completed the story. Now, the problem with that is there are no mods that allow you to skip the story. You can use console commands to do it, but it can make things go incredibly wrong. So, the best thing to do is play through it. And considering it's been an absolute years and years and years since I have played the actual Oblivion uh, storyline, I thought, why not record it? And put it on the channel for everybody to see so yeah this is going to pretty much just be no side quests no side missions no no coins spared so yeah this is no side quests really no side missions for you guys that is I might do them off camera for me um, I'm just pretty much going to blitz this uh, story mode that is because those of you who have only ever played Skyrim this is for you to see the story of oblivion. Yeah, and, and my words are failing me. I've been talking for far too long. <laughs> right, now I need to remember what I'm doing. Just put my dagger away for a start because the guards in this are absolutely nightmarish to deal with. Okay, I did select. Okay, so I need to get to the Imperial sewers. That's where I will find some more information. Sorry about that, keep popping up. I'm so used to pressing escape. Uh, no, 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 no. Subtitles on. Thank you. Hang on. Difficulty set to medium. Yep. I play medium because uh, in Skyrim you can set the difficulty to like crazy hard, and it is just that. Not. No, in, in Skyrim you can set it to like master difficulty, and it's still not a challenge. I only use expert though in Skyrim. Because master is just a little too much for me. Expert's fine. In Oblivion, you crank that thing up to max. Yeah, you're dead as soon as you leave the door. I need to go all the way over here. Sorry if travelling seems a bit slow, but running speed wasn't exactly the best thing in this. You, d you can get them up. That is a thing called athletics. While I'm at it, let's get some of my uh, weapons ready. I have actually got weapons. I've got a fireball I can throw. I can heal myself. I can open locks. I can protect myself. Oh, I didn't pick mysticism. Oh, I need to do some mysticism stuff. I'm supposed to have had mysticism and not alteration. Never mind. Uh, three. Summon my skeleton. Starlight is a light spell. Crud, I'll get used to it. So, if I do this. Keeping your voice down. Keeping my voice down! Sorry. Had to do that. Sorry, headphone users. Rest in peace. Crumbs. Uh, this one. I have, I have not played this game in... Well, properly. I played it with a lot of mods, but I've not played it properly doing the vanilla stuff in a very long time. I remember a fair bit. And trust me, if I do Oblivion mod reviews, you'll see this place quite a lot. Going around saying that some of the Imperial oh, Watch no. are corrupt. Excuse me! I'm only asking for a single toy. I only have 43 myself! You can wait! When I've got thousands, she'll be happy. Right! Now, the sewer is this way. Yes, yeah, so I'm going the right way. You watch, we'll get some nasty coming attackers. And I just remembered, should not have cast spell, I am not regenerating magic. So if you look in the bottom left corner, the red, blue, and green, they're the same as Skyrim. Red, health, blue, magic, green, stamina. 
So, blue uh, is, as you can see, sort of not regenerating, so it's kind of annoying, but it, it won't be in the end. Put it that way. Nan root. Yeah, don't want that. There's more. Crab meat. Gold. Thank you. Da, 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 da. Right, the sewers are over there, so let's swim. And you get a breath bar on this, so you're not going to drown and not know about it. Which is good. That's something they should have kept, but they didn't. Now, I am aware somewhere in the entire map is a treasure that is buried, and I know where that is, so I may get that at some point, but I won't get it straight away. So this is the Imperial Sewer. This is where you're supposed to start in vanilla. You'll, st you'll, you'll do all the main quests in there, and then you'll start here facing this place here. But considering it's modded, we have to go and investigate. Ooh. And while I'm at it, let's... Uh, which one was it? It was you. No, it wasn't. Oh, I should not have picked the Atronach. I'm already regretting it. Anyway, because I can't cast spells, so I have to use knife. Rat! Dead rat. Right, I have to find... Is it on this? There's the Amulet of Kings on a rat. Thank you. For some reason, I have re recovered the amulet from the body of the rat. Perhaps I should now try and find this Joffrey. Let's go find Joffrey. I know exactly where to find him. He's in a little town just near Coral. <sighs> right. So, we shall head over there. Um, I'm going to try and keep fast travel to a minimum. I know a lot of people use fast travel, but I want to try and keep it to a minimum if I can. If it's from one side of the map to the other. I am fast traveling, there's no way I'm running. But if it's just the distance like, say, uh, that, might as well go on foot. You're gonna level. You'll be doing things that will help you level. Like you'll attack things or you will cast spells and forget you need mana potions. Ugh, uh. I did kind of do a boo-boo with the Atronaut. Wolf! There's block. These are tricksy burgers. Uh-oh. Spell! <laughs> Worth it. It's a wolf. Oh god, I've contracted a disease called Hell Joint. Uh, wolf pelt. And my agility is being drained. I think that's because of Hell Joint. Okay. So, I don't know how you cure... I know there's potions for cure disease, but other than that, I don't really know how you cure them. Eh. And yes, you can sort of do the whole jump backwards up a mountain thing like you can in Skyrim as well. But considering it's an old game, I think it looks really good. I have absolutely no graphical mods. I will add graphical mods, but the water doesn't look too bad. And the sky certainly doesn't look too bad, but I'm going to get some graphical mods that will help. Just as long as I don't have to encounter any more bloody wolves. Um, side quests that are in this, there are the Dark Brotherhood, there is a Mage's Guild, there is a Thieves Guild, and there is something called the Fighter's Guild. They're the four main side stories that you can do. Dark Brotherhood is totally different to the one in Skyrim. I prefer the Dark Brotherhood quests actually in this, because it's got a lot of cool stuff going on. And you may even recognise some of the voice actors. May recognise some of the voice actors. Oh god. Another wolf! Dance circles round him, quick! Oh, thank goodness. Blade skill went up. I'm not even in any armour, this is why I'm dying. Right, before I go off, I should really go in and see if I can't steal maybe some armor. I might have to thief some armor up. I've got easy lockpick spell thing, so I'm going to see if I can't get myself geared out before I run uh, an entire trip out into the middle of nowhere. So yeah, that'll be something I should do. And then maybe visit my... Um... 
What is it? Fro Frost Crag, that's it. I might, I might need to visit Frost Crag as well. Because that's a house. That's a player own home. You can go in there and it'll be yours. It's an absolutely awesome spell tower. Vanilla version is a bit lacking though, so if you can get the mod called um, Frost Crag Reborn, absolutely fantastic. So yeah, um, Chestnut Handy Stables. Right, uh, considering I'm back at the Imperial City, next episode we are going in here and we're probably going to see a lot of these guys. Because I will be stealing stuff and steal it. These guys are so, so, so psychic. If you're even slightly spotted, that's it. You're done. If you kill anyone in there, you're done. They'll find you. Easily. Alright, so thank you all very much for watching. Um, feel free to click like, comment, subscribe, fave, all the usual awesome stuff. I'm pretty much going to just be playing through the story mode. If you want to see more after I've done the story mode, which isn't very long really, considering. Uh, just let me know comment section in all of the videos to see more. And I will do more. Maybe do some Dark Brotherhood and show you what that's like. And stuff like that. So thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Take care and goodbye.